the command of the army will allow him to do. Uh, and the same thing will be with Dawison. Uh, you, you aren't implying that Dawison can even get a visa to visit here. No, it's not a problem of being a puppet or not. It's a problem where the president doesn't hold the reins of power. And power is in another place, in the high command of the army and the American embassy. Uh, despite uh, uh, our understanding that there were pledges you would abstain, there were rebel disruptions of those elections on Sunday. Why was that? Well, we, in February, we made an offer. We say we are not going to attack the polls, but the answer from the army was to mount the biggest operation in the 10 days before the day of the elections. What they expected from us? To cross our hands? No, we have to answer back to them. The army made a serious mistake attacking the FMLN forces in the day previous to the elections because the FMLN forces answered back to them. And there you have the problem. Well, what do we have if there is a runoff election? Uh, uh, apparently the date could be May 6th. Will there be disruptions of a runoff as well? Well, no. We are going to maintain our own policy. This policy has been paying quite a lot for us. It's a good policy. The elections have been a mess because the government is unable to hold elections, and therefore we will continue with our policy. If the army attack us, the FMLN forces are going to answer back. The country is in a state of war, and it's crazy to try to make an election during a period of war. You saw the long lines of voters outside those election polls. Doesn't that tell you that the people want peace? It is natural that people everywhere want peace. That's why we propose a political settlement of the war, to have a provisional government that will, be, will give guarantees to everybody, and then we could hold a free election in peace and with security for everybody. But why do the people have to wait for the, uh, uh, the antagonists, uh, the, the, the army and the rebels, to fight it out? They thought they were voting with their feet, didn't they? No, they didn't. In El Salvador, voting is compulsory. And even the polls before the day of the, of the elections tell you that the majority of the people went to the poll just because it was an obligation. And people is afraid not to have the stamp in an identity card because they could be accused of being sympathizer of the FMLN and become one of the 40,000 people being killed in El Salvador in the last three years. This is the truth. There will be a president after May 6th. Who, um, who is your betting? Would it be Duarte or will it be Dorbesan? Well, it doesn't matter really who is the president, but I suppose that the U.S. is more interested in what we are going to have Duarte. Thank you for being with us this morning, Ruben.